Hey everybody, Madeline here with Madeline's Happy Hounds and my girl Miss Vita May. And today I want to talk to you about the N95 canine mask for dogs. Why is this so important? Well, it's August, which means it is wildfire season, and in California, we are actually already in a state of emergency with fires. It is horrible and we're expected to have over 40,000 fires. So we want to be prepared, not only ourselves, but our best friends here. So the N95 K9 mask, yes, good girl, yes. <laughs> so the N95 K9 mask is great to help your dog not be exposed to the fine particles in the air from the smoke. It helps so they don't get their lungs affected by it. Dogs can get really sick from fires as well, so we want to make sure they're covered. But in an emergency, we can't expect our dog just to be okay with us putting this mask on. That won't help. So in order for our pups to stay safe during a wildfire, we want to actually, yes, get the pup used to the mask. Now, she knows I have treats in this hand. But what we, yes, what we first want to do is actually introduce her to the mask. So sometimes I will set it on the floor and let them, yes, walk up to it. And even when their nose touches it, I tell her yes. and let her know it's a good thing. I want her to have a positive association with this mask. A positive association will make your life so much easier because if the time comes that you are rushing to get out because of a fire and you want to put this mask on the dog, they won't be terrified of it because you have never introduced it to them. So again, we're going to start by just introducing them to the mask. Vita May, you have to sit back up. Come on. Thank you. Okay, just wait. Yes. Good girl. Every time their nose touches the mask, tell them yes. Reward them if you would like. Uh, I have some small treats, but if you need a higher value treat, let's say that your dog's kind of afraid of the mask and it's taking longer for him or her to walk up to the mask, then I like to use cheese sticks and I cut them up into tiny pieces and then I would actually put the pieces inside the muzzle. So that's going to be the next step after your dog has Explore the mask, seeing that it's really not a bad thing, nothing's gonna jump out at him or her. We're gonna actually put the treats inside the muzzle part of the mask here. Now this is an X large because her snout is a little bit bigger. Um, so she has an extra large and also she wants extra room because the mask does come with these carbon filters. So that means that no bad, you know, fine particles can get into the mask which also does help with coronavirus, but it is not 100% protective from the coronavirus. It's only about 95%. And you actually don't wanna leave this on the dogs longer than 10 minutes because it just, it does restrict their breathing. And so we wanna try and leave it on for a little bit if we have to, and then take it off, give them a break, and then put it back on. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to put some treats into the mask. These are very little treats, Vita. And I'm just gonna have her stick her muzzle inside the mask yes good girl and get those trees she's really going for it <laughs> good girl good girl yes oh so good good girl yes mama it's good girl good girl so i'm gonna do this several times some of your dogs may be a little bit more hesitant than vita here if that's the case that's okay you may have to practice this every single day for a few weeks even, just getting them used to sticking their nose in the muzzle and not being afraid of it. Okay, let me see it in there. Notice I'm not forcing her. I am showing her there's treats in there, but I'm not shoving her face into the mask. I'm not doing that because that would make her more afraid. Good girl, good girl. So once she's used to putting her snout or muzzle inside the mask, the next step is to actually strap it on the back of her head. Now, once you do that, you just want to quickly undo it. You don't want to leave it on there too much that it allows them to panic. Again, you just want to have a nice positive association with putting it on her muzzle. And I'm actually going to have treats ready. Okay, just wait. I know you want the, put them down because she was trying to get those. So I'm going to strap it on the back, leave it for a second, and then let it go. Yes, good girl. Notice that was barely maybe two seconds. I don't want it to be on there a long time because I don't want to give her the chance to panic. Again, this is a little bit bigger right now on her, but I haven't added the carbon filters in it yet, so that'll take up some of the space. Okay, try it one more time. I'm also being very calm as I do it. 
I'm not acting like it's a big deal. Something dramatic. Yes, good girl. All positive. Is used to having the mask on and even it, having it strapped around their head, then you could add in the carbon filter. I want you to practice with that as well just because it will add a little bit of weight to it and make it feel a little bit different to the dog, but that's okay. Once you practice with that and they get used to it, then you are ready to go in case of an emergency. And don't just think, okay, we've practiced it, she's used to it, now I don't have to practice it for months and expect my dog, you know, six months down the road to be fine and let me put the muzzle on her. No, this is something that you should continuously practice so your dog is okay with it. Again, this is the N95 K9 mask. I got hers in pink, but they come in multiple different colors. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to help with getting your dog adjusted to the mask. Otherwise, good luck and stay safe.